Alright, we are doing section 814. We're going to be writing equivalent rational expressions. Alright, if you remember back, a rational expression meant that it was fractions. Okay, and so if we go over here, I've got some examples. You did these, you've done these when you first learned to do fractions. You did this before you learned how to reduce a function. You actually tried to make it bigger. It might not be something you can remember. We said, and then this is what we do when we find a common denominator. If we have a 2 and we need it to go to a 6, we ask ourselves, 2 times what give you 6? 3. Yeah. So, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Since I multiplied the bottom by 3, I have to multiply the top by 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. And so now, these are equivalent fractions. The 1 half and the 3 6 are both 1 half, okay? Right. So I can do this on this one also. Oh. I can say, what did I multiply by 6 to make 12? 2. 2. So, so if I do 10. the bottom by 2, I have to do the top. So I get 10, okay? But those aren't equivalent. They are equivalent. If I reduced oh. 10 twelfths, it would be the same as 5 sixths. Oh, Does that make sense? yeah. Okay? okay. If I split something into 6 pieces and I took 5 of them, it would be the same as if I split it into 12 pieces and took 10 of them. Oh, you know, the same okay. quantity of them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this whole principle that we just did here with these fractions, we're going to work the same if we had mm -hmm. letters. Okay? So I ask the same questions. I say 6x six six times what gives me 18 x three. Third. So I have a 3, and what about... Oh, so then 15x squared would be your top? Almost. Because we're going to go 3x squared here, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to multiply this by 3x squared. And yes, it'll be 15x squared. This will now be the equivalent oh, fraction. Okay. They ask it a little different. They ask it in words, but they're going to show it. And at least your examples, rewrite the rational expression. So we rewrite this 5 over 6x to have the same denominator. But your problems are on your book are the same way I wrote them, like leaving a blank up here at the top. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So we ask ourselves that same question. 3 times the quantity x plus 1. What do I multiply so I get 6x times the quantity? 2. Yes, 2 and something else also. Uh, I'm going to actually change colors. 2. That'll give me the 6, but what about this extra x? Oh, yeah, you got it. Multiply by an x. Yeah, so we're going to multiply by 2x and 2x. So we'll have a total of how much up here? 4x. Very good, and that is my equivalent fraction. Oh, okay. okay. This isn't as not so bad. bad. As long as you reel down this one, what in the world can I multiply this by to get that? You could reduce this. Like, we, do yes, another. let's do the box and figure out what it is. That's right. So we'll do our box. And so I can fit an x and an x. What multiplies to be 6, negative 6, but subtracts to be negative 1? 2 and 3, negative 3, positive 2. Okay, so then this thing right here becomes x minus 2, I'm sorry, I wrote that wrong. That was x minus 3. x minus 3 and x plus 2. Okay, so what x squared, excuse me, x minus 3 times what gives me x minus 3, x plus 2? x plus 2. So if I multiply this by x plus 2, I will get this x plus 2. Now, I don't know how they want you to do that. They want you to distribute it. It, You know what? I'm going to tell you not to distribute it. Okay, I'm going to tell you to write it negative 3x times x plus 2 because later, later on, when you do your, you might be able to cancel things. You will be able actually to cancel. See, notice this. If I wanted to cancel these out, go like this, I want you to notice what's going to happen. I'm going to get the 3x over x minus 3 here, so which is what you started off with, okay? Oh. We just made it bigger, all right? Don't, don't multiply that out. Your book will, and so you might even the answers will, but I'm going to have you leave it. I'm going to have you leave it like okay. this because when you get later on, you're going to want it factored so that when you, you're going to start adding these things together. We're finding common denominators right now is what you're doing. And so later on, when you find the common denominator, you might have to then, when you're done, reduce it just like you reduce fractions when you add them and it will be easier to reduce them if they're already factored. So oh, okay. don't multiply them out. It's going to make your life easier later on. Okay. okay. All right. So we have just taken our, what we learned with 
adding fractions with numbers, what we did when we were in elementary school. And we used that same concept that we looked at the denominator that was given and we figured out what do we multiply this denominator by to get the second denominator. And that was the 3x squared. Then we multiplied the top. We did that on every single one. Okay, okay. that was really easy. I'm glad.